Files Reading Passage 1 Continuation Band 9 Task Type of Questions Multiple Choice Question So, with this type of question, you will be able to use a combination of skimming and scanning. First, you will skim the text to locate the relevant place and then read carefully to find the details you need to answer the question. And remember that the key to answering these questions in finding the relevant part of the text very quickly. If you are not sure which paragraph to check, choose a keyword from the question and scan the text for it quickly. So if you have three questions, you will be divided for three paragraphs. First step is scanning for names and numbers can help you locate the information you need very quickly. There are other types of multiple choice questions. For instance, some ask you to select from a list of four to eight items, the two or three items which anchor in the tags. You skim in for guests and scan it for detail to answer them. Remember to look out for synonyms and paraphrases. Your skills development should guessing meaning from the context. There are almost always words in the text. Even words will be unfamiliar to you. If you consider that the word is unimportant and doesn't affect your understanding of the text, just ignore it. Then the next one is the name of a person or a place beginning with a capital letter will not have a significant effect on the meaning of the text. However, the more frequently the word appears, the more important it is likely to be, and you may need to guess the meaning. One way to do this is to look at the words that surround it, the textual context. You may be able to find paraphrases of a word, alternative ways of expressing the same idea or synonyms. Different words with the same meaning or even explanations and examples that make the meaning of the word very clear. For example, malnutrition. On our context, the more times a word appears in the text, the more clues that there are about its meaning. The word nutrition appears in section A. Here it is of the reading passage one. As it appears many times in the text, we know it's a key theme. The associated word malnutrition also occurs in section A, where the words pro and nutrition are used to mean the same thing. Other clues are most serious health problems and the information that poor nutrition in the first two years of a child's life causes irreparable damage in section C. We learned that one consequence of malnutrition is being underweight, section D tells us that it takes more than just putting more food in the children's mouths to overcome malnutrition. Given these clues, we can take a good guess at the meaning of malnutrition. The Macmillan English Dictionary says it's a medical condition in which you are weak or ill because you don't eat enough or you don't eat enough of for the right foods, I mean health foods. So here it is, we do have sections from A to F. So we do have six questions, uh, sections and we do have three questions. Actually, you don't need to spare your free time and I've already underlined for you. Uh, first question is malnutrition in Sub-Saharan Africa. And I already underlined this and tick this. Affects a quarter of the child population. And uh, here it is, paragraph B. While criticizing the lack of uh, large-scale action internationally and within countries to tackle malnutrition, blah, 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 then it reveals the rates of malnutrition in South Asia are almost double those in Sub-Saharan Africa. We find the problem is much more severe in South Asia than in Sub-Saharan Africa. Roughly 50% of children in South Asia are undernourished as compared to about 25% in Sub-Saharan Africa. So here it is, malnutrition in Sub-Saharan Africa 
affects a quarter of the child population. Here it is very evident information. Let's go forward for the second multiple choice questions. Here it is, Shekhar thinks the importance of nutrition must be reassessed because, and I already underlined for you, this is the item, it is the key to many economic and social improvements, how it is. Let me read for you. Shekhar says that, from here it is, the un Quokal choice now is between continue, continuing to fail as the global community did with HIV AIDS for more than a decade or to finally put nutrition at the center of development so that a wide range of economic and social improvements that depend on nutrition can be realized. So here it is reassessed nutrition. So Shekhar thinks correct. Let's go forward for the final item, third one. Shekhar believes the biggest challenge in fighting malnutrition is first one, A item, finding money. So Shekhar, from here it is, says, I think the biggest challenge now is getting the donor community to rally around this issue to put resources both technical and financial behind these issues. And at the same time, there is a need to build commitment among government partners as well to invest not only in nutrition, okay, but invest in the right kinds of things of nutrition. Concurrently, sustain, substantive funding is needed for developing countries through existing funding channels to scale up actions to prevent malnutrition. So this is the biggest challenge malnutrition is finding money so here it is the correct version of our options for multiple choice questions i consider that it was valuable for you if you have some questions or remarks so you are more than welcome to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, just send your request to our email and we will be glad to answer you as soon as possible. And uh, we are here to continue the reading passage one with the continuation of task type of questions.